Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is the 8th class in our Clo 3D for Beginners course. In this class, we are going to learn how to add beautiful cutwork detailing to our garments. Let's get started. First, open your project. We created this outfit in our previous class. If you missed it, you can find it in my Clo 3D playlist. Today, we'll focus on adding cutwork and scallop details to this shrub. If long press on the internal polygon tool in the toolbar, you'll see more shapes like ellipse and rectangle. I'm going to select the internal ellipse tool to draw a circle. Hold down the shift key while dragging to create a perfect circle. Next we'll use the internal polygon tool to draw a diamond shape leaf. I'm creating a flower design for our cut work. To make a flower, we need to arrange these leaves around the circle. When you select a leaf and rotate it, it rotates around its center point. To make it easier to position, double click on the leaf center rotation point and move the point. Place the rotation center point on the circle and now you can rotate the leaf around the circle. Copy the leaf by pressing Ctrl plus C and paste it with Ctrl plus V. You can place it anywhere. But to position it correctly, click on the leaf without moving it. Rotate the leaf by placing the center point on the circle and rotating. Holding the shift key while rotating will snap the leaf to set angles for precise placement. Copy and paste the leaf to create more leaves. Place the rotation center point on the circle and rotate while holding shift to evenly distribute the leaves. Repeat this process with 4 leaves to form a complete flower shape. Now, select the entire flower pattern. Right click and choose cut to remove it from the pattern. Then, copy and paste the flower to position it around the shrug. Place the flowers wherever you like to achieve your desired design. Next, let's add some scallop detailing. Use the internal polygon tool or another shape tool to create a scallop design. Once you're happy with the design, select it, right click, and choose cut and sew. After that, let's change the color of the bottom part of the shrug to make the scallop detailing stand out. Next, copy the circle we made earlier and place it around the scallop shape to add some extra detailing. You can also add the cutwork flower design to the sleeves for a cohesive look. First, make sure your sleeve is a single pattern piece by selecting both lines you want to join with the edit pattern tool. Right click and choose merge to combine them into one pattern. Now, place the cutwork flower wherever you like on the sleeve for a stylish finish.
And that's it for today's class on cutwork and scallop detailing. You can get creative with different shapes and designs to make your garment truly unique. Thank you so much for joining me in this class. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. See you in the next class.